Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Goldstream Park here on Sunday to 31st of March 2024. Going to look at the sixth race from Goldstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Let's look at the sixth from Goldstream, which allows optional claim or purse $92,000. Race for four year olds at upwards number one, 12,000 twice, main claim starter or restricted race, which number one through races. Optional claim price $62,000 here. Field of nine horses going 1,700 meters or a mile 16th on the Goldstream Park turf course. Rails are out 66 feet, so it's the outer portion of the turf. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the four horse Farbridge 4836 for me in the Superfecta. 4836 Super. Top selection, four horse Farbridge. This four year old by English Channel. Christoph Clement trains. Jose Ortiz gets to mount. The horse's most recent outing came the 3rd of September, Kentucky Downs, a mile 5 16th in a dueling round derby. And he finished second by two lengths that day. He had a very wide trip, but he sat back early most of the way race. He had a great turn off of late. He just missed, but he ran his heart out. Refreshing here, not the world's toughest horses. I think he could get the trip to win. Two back he ran in the Saratoga Derby at Saratoga, a very yielding, almost waterlocked turf turf course. Mile 3 16th in the Mellon, 5th of August. He finished third by one and a quarter lengths. The winner ran terrifically. Web Slinger had a decent second that day. This horse is wide. Where you wanted to be wide on that turf course and with a downpour. He moved a little bit late, but he just couldn't catch the winner. And then the Belmont Derby at Belmont, a mile and a quarter on the inner 8th of July, winning by length that day from a tracking trip. He was a little bit wide, and he got there in the nick of time. Very good run for this horse there. I thought he had a decent place in the in the, uh, in the Penine Ridge Band Calic at Belmont in the spring. And, you know, his place in the um, American Turf Band Webslinger was next start. Winner wasn't bad at all. His two races here last year weren't bad at all. Coming here off the bench at 7-5, to five, he could definitely win. I think the eight horse here, who is uh, Novo Soul, the old man, he wouldn't surprise me if he gets a trip here to to win. Um, he is getting for the price, but he's always run these sneaky good races. Most recently, 17th of February, going a mile and claiming 50000 He won by three quarters in length that day. Only had three other rivals, but he really got a good trip to win there. Prior to that, in claiming 50 with a mile 16th in January, he finished third by neck, and again, tracking trip a little bit wide but he was closing up well late um and then claiming 50 on the tapita and right before christmas finished second by three quarters and like again not a bad race his races in south florida haven't been half bad refreshing a 10 to 1 i would use him in the um pick six but that begins with this race and even the three horse here lucky score you know he's coming from southern california out of his most true recent races where he was just facing tough horses back to a mile and the 16th, lesser quality horses. He could win also training well. Let's use him on the ticket. But to recount my selection for the six from Goldstream, I'm going to take the four horse Far Bridge, give kudos to the eight horse Nova Soul and the three horse Lucky Score, four, eight, three, six, super, four, eight, three in the multi race. So good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everyone.